Hi, my name is Nick Osborne, aka The Coffee Detective. Today we're going to have a look at uh, three different types of coffee grinder. A blade grinder, an inexpensive burr grinder, and a more expensive conical burr grinder. But before we look at these, uh, a word about grinding your own coffee. Uh, why bother? I mean, after all, you can go to a store and you can buy ground coffee by the bag. Well, the reason is, is you know, if, if, if you're buying really inexpensive coffee, coffee then, then there really is no need. But if you're paying a little bit extra for some interesting coffees from different parts of the world and you want to enjoy their different flavors and aromas, uh, then all of a sudden having your own grinder makes sense. Because as soon as you grind a coffee bean, it starts losing the subtleties of its flavor very, very quickly. All the volatile oils which carry lots of that flavor start evaporating. Um, and you know, if you if, if if you find some coffee you really like, and you buy it from a supermarket shelf where it's been sitting for weeks, and open it up, and then the bag is open, you know, by the time you finish that bag, you, you're missing lots of the kind of subtle points of that taste. So, if you're going to buy a grinder, if you want to buy beans, keep them sealed until you want to make a coffee. Um, and, and then grind them just before you brew the coffee, which is the best thing to do, you've got, you got more or less three choices. There's the blade grinder, which is the least expensive and probably the, the most commonly used. Uh, this, is a, this is quite a nice one. It's probably about 20, 25 bucks. And I'll just show you what I mean, if you don't already know, by a blade grinder. If you look inside there, there's these blades. It's a little bit like a miniature upside down lawn mower. So basically we put the coffee, be coffee beans in there, turn it on and those blades just whiz whiz round. What's happening there is basically the blades are just smacking the beans into pieces. The difficulty is, is it's not smashed to pieces consistently. So you know you, you press the button here, it grinds, and when you're done, you're going to have some tiny, tiny little powder-like particles. You're going to have some bigger particles and everything in between. Which means that you're certainly not going to get top value for your, for your coffee because the larger uh, pieces of coffee are not going to, you know, not, not, not all their taste is going to go out into the water. As for the very powdery parts, that's going to start blocking things like your, um, you know, the, the filter in your drip brewer. Uh, or will probably go through the screen if you're using a French press. So that's fine if your budget's really limited, but you just got to bear in mind that you have very little control over the consistency of the grind. So your next step up would be something like this. This is a this is an inexpensive burr grinder, which means instead of blades twirling, it's a bit like the old-fashioned windmill with the two stones grinding the grinding the wheat or corn. Um, in, in here there are two steel plates and they, they turn around and they grind the coffee beans. Now you can adjust this, you adjust basically with this going from coarse to fine you're adjusting the space between the plates so you can determine um, you know exactly how fine you want that coffee grind to be. Now this, I'm not a huge fan of the lower end uh, burr grinders. One, because the plates are very, very small. It takes a long time to grind anything. Um, actually, it's a pain because you fill in the coffee beans at the top. Then you turn it around and you kind of set your grind and you have to kind of guess a little bit, trial and error. Then you press the on button and you have to keep your finger on there until it's finished. And like I say, it, it does the job very slowly. So you know, you're sitting there with your finger on it, waiting for it to go. Now, I've also read online uh, a lot of customer feedback on these these less expensive burr grinders. Is that quite often, and probably because they have a small motor, they have these very small grinding plates. Uh, people have a lot of trouble with them, just just not working. So now this one, this is the Capre Capresso Infinity. Uh, this is quite a different story. Let me just show you a bit of the innards here. I can take out here. Now you can see we've got a heavy duty piece of metal there. Uh, that's one side of the, the conical burr. The other side is seated within the grinder here. 
Now, with flat, with the flat bur the black blades, I mean the, 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 the grinding plates, you're basically having to throw the coffee out the edges as you grind it. With a conical one, it really is just like a, the, the coffee kind of falls down through and when it's come out at the bottom the other end, it's exactly the right grind. So, so these are generally more reliable, they don't get gummed up nearly as quickly. Um, and again, really nice thing here is I put the coffee in the top here, then I set whether I want coarse, medium, fine or extra fine. But I don't just have four settings, I actually have 16 because I've got four within each. So if I'm doing drip for a drip brewer, I'd go medium. If I'm going for, uh, if I'm making an espresso, I'll go fine, a little bit towards extra fine. If I'm making um, Turkish coffee, I'll go all the way around to, to the, the last one, an extra fine. If I'm doing French press, I'll come back here to coarse. So, and once I've set that and the beans are in there, I just turn this and it's a little timer. Basically, it's it would be green. If I got it all set up with beans, it would now be grinding. I can walk away, I can set up my brewer. Uh, it's not like that where I have to keep my finger on. And when it's done, the beans go through here, through the grinder, and out into the little receptacle at the bottom. Um, and what I really notice between this and less expensive uh, grinders is just amazing consistency in the grind there. It delivers you absolutely exactly what you want. So if you're, if you're making coffees, you know, you're grinding beans for different kinds of coffee makers like a French press, a drip brewer, an espresso machine, and you want to grind your own beans, I certainly recommend that you spend a little bit extra and get a conical burr grinder and get one that gives you plenty of choices in terms of the different grinds that you can achieve.